Hi boys and girls. Um, today we're going to do lesson 8.11 and this one is all about place value. Um, and when I say place value, you know I mean is the number in the ones place or is it in the tens place? And always in the past we've been using um, a hundred grid as a tool. And even since we've been at home, sometimes I attach a hundred grid to a lesson as a tool. Well, the lesson today has to do with, let's not use a hundred grid, let's use our brains to figure it out. Okay, so let me explain what I mean by that. Oh, and just to let you know, um, this is Monday's lesson, but we're going to be following up with the same concepts on Tuesday and on Wednesday as well. Okay, so let's say I have a number. I'm gonna just write down a number for you right here. The number 63, okay? Um, I know the six is in the tens place and the three is in the ones place, right? There's six groups of 10 to make 60 and there are three groups of one to make three. So if I said, what is 10 more than 63? And we're using our brain. We're thinking, oh, 10. I need to go to the tens place, right? So 10 more than 63 is one more group of 10. I already had six groups of 10. Now I have one more. So 10 more than 63 would be 73 right? And let me show you that another way to help it make a little bit more sense. So 63 is really, I'm going to draw this really quick. Is this, right? Six longs and three ones. 73 is seven longs and three ones. It's 10 more or a long, which is the same as 10, right? Okay. So let's try a few more activities and I want you to get yourself a piece of paper or dry erase board um, and marker, something so you can do the activity with me. If you need to pause while you go grab it, that's fine to do. And I'm gonna start with a new number. giving everyone a second in case they had to pause or if they're just grabbing something so you don't feel rushed. Okay, so I wrote down the number 24 and do that too, okay? And when I'm asking these questions, we're gonna fill them in imagining that this is in a hundred grid. So what is one more than 24? I'm gonna write it right afterwards. And I wrote 25, one more, right? The ones place went up by one, one more. It was a four and now it's five, one more. Ones place, adding one. So that's really our, um, I'm gonna circle 25 and I'm gonna write next to it, that's our plus one. Right, 24, one more is 25. What's one less than 24? And I wrote minus one, because one less is minus one. So I go to the, to the, the ones place, which is four. One less than four is yeah, three. So I wanna put, still my tens place stays the same, it's a 20 two groups of 10 and three ones. But it's one less than 24, so it's 23. That's pretty easy. If I said to you, what's one? What, what's 24 minus one? You'd be like, oh, three, 23. Now let's look at um, what's 10 more than 24. Now I put it down below here because I know, I'm gonna write a plus 10. I know that's where it belongs on 100 grid, right? What's 10 more? So now I know my four stays the same. This is just four ones. But what is 10 more than 20? So instead of two groups of 10, now I have three groups of 10. 10 more than 24 is 34. It's one more group of 10. 
right? 34. Just like 10 less, and maybe you're already starting this right here with me. I'm trying to write, holding it up. It's very sloppy. Um, you should not do that. Okay, there we go. 10 less would be 14. Okay, so now erase what you did. Or if you wrote, just get yourself another little section to write. And I'm going to um, have us do a few practices, okay? Um, write down the number hmm, 47. Write down the number 47. I did that too. Okay. Then write plus 10. And then I put uh, equals or same as signs. 47 plus 10 is the same as, now this is where you're using your brain. We don't have the 100 grid. 47, 10 more than 47. One more group of 10. What is 47 plus 10? Okay, you're thinking, I've got mine. I'm ready to show it to you. Did you put 57 down? There were four groups of 10. Now there's one more. So there's five groups of 10. 47 plus 10 is 57, right? And we can do that in our heads. Let's try another one. Hmm. Let's try 32. Okay, so I wrote down 32. 32. You write down 32, and this time we're going to take away 10. So minus 10 is the same as, right, I wrote my number sentence, 32, take away 10 equals, or is the same as, what's it the same as? So now we have three in the tens place. We're taking away one of them in the tens place. Just taking away one of the groups of 10. And what does that leave you with? Did you get it right? Did you put down 22? Bet you did. You guys are also smart. Okay. Let's so raise our boards. Get ourselves ready for one more problem. One more challenge. Write down 75. Plus... We're not gonna deal with the tens place this time. This time we're gonna look at the ones place. So 75 plus one. Now, this time I'm not looking at the tens place, right? Mm -mm. I'm looking at the ones place. So really I'm saying what's five plus one? What is five plus one? Hmm. One more in the ones place, so I know what to write. 75 plus 1 is, and you're writing down your answer, and here you go. 75 plus 1 is 76. Your challenge for tomorrow, we're going to do a poll, and I'm going to give you a number, and we're either going to be adding or subtracting in either the tens place or the ones place. I know you're up for the challenge. All right. See you later, guys.